Yes, factory orders and durable goods. Factory orders for May, well, we're expecting a number around 8.5%. We're a little light here, 8% uh, right on the nose. This follows a minus 13%, and that is the all-time low going back to 1956. And if we look at factory orders X transportation, that is up 26 That is a very solid number, but it's still only about half of what we expected. That follows minus 8.5. So you can see in the rearview mirror, we have some real negative numbers. All right, durable goods. We take the May reads that we currently have, we toss them. These become the final read. So 15.8 was mid-month, 15.7 is the final read. And 15.7, of course, follows minus 18.1, which was April's final. And that was, of course, uh, the worst of this cycle with regard to that series of data points. If you look at factory uh, durable good orders, X transportation up 3. Largely as expected. All right, capital goods orders, non defense, ex aircraft, proxy for capital spending, super important. Well, the mid number, the mid month was 2.3. We lost some ground here to 1.6. And that is something to note because this is very important. And on the shipment side, we moved from 1.8 mid month to 1.5. So the data is pretty good. We had a couple of small misses there. And, and I also want to reference trade balance earlier at minus 54.6 billion. That was the biggest negative trade balance going back to December of 2018. Carl, lots of data today. And the market seems to be not only chewing through it, but of course, with the closures, look for most of the best activity to come in early in most markets. All right, Rick, thanks for that. Uh, Rick Santelli.